Hello and welcome to the Rangers Journal. My name is Kai Watson. This is episode 10 in the series Five Players Ready Could Sign. For the 10th episode, I thought I'd look domestically and look at the Scottish Premiership. Obviously, we've used this series as a way of looking at leagues that Rangers haven't famously scouted in and looked for bargains in leagues like Serbia and Hungary and then also looked to South America for the last few episodes. But I thought I'd focus the 10th episode on Scotland because I still think there is players in the league that are good value for money that would help improve the squad, obviously help the homegrown side of things. There's definitely players in the league, so I'm going to look at five players I think Rangers should look at next season. Starting off, I'm going to look at Owen Beck, 21-year-old left-back, Welsh, 5'11". He's been at Dundee this season, although he's currently injured and loaned from Liverpool. Transfer Mark Avon valued 850k, so let's just look at some of his key stats. 25 appearances this season, he's got two goals and four assists. 73% pass accuracy, 2.26 chance he created per 90, 2.3 successful crosses, 59.6% successful dribbles, 0.93 fills, 1, 61.4% tackles, 1, with 54.8 duels, 1, 1.09 interceptions, and the just over 5 recoveries. Very good defensive numbers and also good attacking numbers. Beck was really impressive in the first six months of the season. He obviously went back to Liverpool in January to cover their injuries and they came off the bench in one game, meaning that he could only go back to Dundee because you can't play for more than two clubs in the same season. I know there have been rumours that Rangers and Celtic looking to bring him in in January because that's how much he'd impressed in the first six months of the season. But because of he came off the bench in that Liverpool game, it meant he had to go back to Dundee. And you can see just how impressive those numbers are when you look at the percentiles. So... In the top 4% for chances created and the top 8% for defensive actions. Shows he's really good on both ends. High energy, get good pace, really good quality on the ball. Again, he's only 21. The fact that he impressed that much for Dundee that Klopp was willing to, it was obviously just an appearance off the bench, but he looked at him and the performances he'd put in as a player that would be able to step in. And obviously Rangers and Celtic rumour to be looking at him in January as well. I'm not sure the truth in those rumours, but I do think he's a good enough player to come in. He's of good enough quality. I don't know how Liverpool see him when he goes back there. I don't know. If, obviously, Klopp won't be the manager, so I don't know how they will look at him if they want to give him another development loan and see if they can kick on from there or if they'll be looking to sell him. But I think if they're looking to sell, depending on what happens with the left-back spot, Barisic will obviously be away, but if Rangers keep Red Van Yilmaz, I don't think he would come in as a backup left-back, but if Rangers do sell Red Van, I think going back could be a brilliant option to come in and be a replacement. Next player on the list is someone most people that have seen him this season have been impressed by. So, Lennon Miller, 17 year old midfielder, again, Scottish, six foot, plays for Mother Own Transfer Market, having valued at 800k currently. 20 appearances this season, he's had two assists, 68.2% pass accuracy, 0.66 chances created, an incredible 88.9% dribble success, 2.3 fouls won, 57.9% tackles won. 68.6% duels won, 1.32 interceptions and 6.84 recovery. The first thing that might stand out is looking at the pass accuracy, but he is a player that likes to try those more difficult forward passes. He does like to take risks, which obviously doesn't always work out. At mother, he's not always got the most time on the ball, so I think if you step up to a level with a ball-dominant team like Rangers, the pass accuracy would go up because he would have more of the ball. He'd have more attempts at those types of passes, hopefully with a higher success rate. Then you look at the incredible 8.9% dribble success to go along with the 2.38 fills when he's such a good player driving forward with the ball, really intelligent, uses his body well, he's strong, he's just got a genuine on the ball quality. And then the 68.6% duels one is really high as well. You can see he's in the top 6% for aerial duels one and the top 29% for defensive actions. Like he's, It's really hard to pin a position in Lennon Miller. Like he's really good driving with the ball. He is a good passer, despite what you'd look at the face of the pass accuracy says. He's really, really strong in duels. Again, great recoveries, great dribbling. I really don't know where his position will be going forward. I don't know if he's a 6, an 8. could probably even move forward to be a 10. He's just a brilliant all-round player, especially for being a 17-year-old playing in the Premiership, playing first-team football. He just kind of stands out, and it'll be interesting to see where his career goes, I think he'll be looking at the Bailey Rice situation and maybe put off coming to Rangers unless he was guaranteed first team football. But Rangers can't afford to overlook kind of young talent like this anymore. Everyone obviously reverts back to Lewis Ferguson, even look further than that and look at how Josh Doy, Garen Hickey, players like that have went on. So we can't keep affording to 
overlook this type of talent, even if you have to pay a bit more. It's worth getting them in because the Scottish players, again, help for the homegrown quota. And it's just good to have that solid Scottish core because that's what most successful Rangers side have had and what this one currently is lacking. I'm not saying that's the only thing they're lacking, but when you look at previous sides in the past that have had the most success, they've always had a good Scottish core. So I think you can't always afford to let players of this quality, especially at 17 years old, go. So I think if there's an opportunity there, Rangers should really be looking at bringing Lennon Miller in. Next player has been one of my favourites to watch in the Scottish Premiership this season. David Watson, 19-year-old central midfielder, again Scottish, 5'8". Currently playing at Kelly and transfer market having valued at 325k. So let's look at some of his key stats. 31 appearances this season, 22 from the start. He scored 5 goals and got into assists. 64.5% pass accuracy, just over one chance created per 90. 42.1% dribble success, 0.91 fills won, 56.5% tackles won, 42.6 duels won, just over one interception and 4.23 recoveries. Then looking at his percentiles, he's in the top 11% for aerial duels won and the top 16% for goals from central midfield in the Scottish Premiership. There's just something in David Watson's game, it just feels like an old school midfielder he's got Great, he's got determination, he's really good at crashing the box in the same way that Barry Ferguson used to do for Rangers. He's scored some brilliant goals this season, really important goals as well. There's just he has a quality that I think you can't really can't really describe. Again, like I said, he's industrious, he gets about again, you look at the pass accuracy and you might think it's pretty low, but he is a player that does again try those risky passes, he tries to create, you can see he's creating just over one chance per game. Again, he's Good at driving forward, he picks up really good positions. He's a player I think would probably play more as an eight instead of being the defensive midfielder. He's probably the one that can drive a bit further forward, the one that can arrive in the box late. He's just a very interesting young player. And I think he would definitely be a cheaper option compared to Lennon Miller. He's a couple of years older, but I don't think there's a massive gulf in quality. Miller might go on to become a much better player than David Watson, but I think currently Watson's maybe more suited to come in and immediately impact this Rangers team because this team don't have a player that crashes the box like that that gets those kind of goals from arriving late into the box. So I think that's a massive miss. He might not come in and immediately go into the first team. But I think he could definitely contribute. Again, 19, he's got massive room to improve. A player I really like, so I think if we're looking to bolster that midfield and we're looking to bring in younger players, I think David Watson could be a brilliant option. Moving on to the next player and someone that a lot of fans think is a no-brainer signing considering he's available for free in the summer. Connor Barron, 21-year-old Scottish midfielder, 5'9", currently playing at Aberdeen and transfer market having valued at 570k. Looking at his key stats, 24 appearances this season, 19 from the start, he's got a goal and an assist. 76.4% pass accuracy, 1.06 chances created per 90. 55.6 dribble success, 0.56 fouls won. Won 75% of tackles, 54.3% of duels, 1.18 interceptions and just over 7 recoveries per 90. When you look at the right-hand side of the graphic, his percentiles are a bit more well-rounded than Watson's and Miller's. So 66% percentile for defensive actions and 64% for aerial duels won. Connor Barron is, I think, the perfect replacement for Ryan Jack. He's good in the tackle, he's industrious, he's gritty, determined. He buzzes about, he seems like an absolute pain to play against, but when he gets on the ball, he's got real quality. You can see the passing range he has, he's technically very gifted. He doesn't get many goals, and again, the assist numbers aren't there as well, but he's more of a creator from deep. I think he just has such quality on the ball that I think he's currently missing. When you look at someone like John Lundstrom and how he's been playing recently, he's resorted to just constant long balls. He's not mixing up his game, but I think Barron's got... It's a good short passer, very good long passer. He opens up the game very well. It's obviously a bit different playing for Aberdeen and how teams play compared to playing for Rangers. I think he's got a passing range that would suit coming into the team. Again, a lot of fans think this is a no-brainer. I would fully agree there should be a contract offer on the table, and if there's not, I'd be very disappointed. So hopefully, Connor Barron is someone Rangers are looking at to bring in the summer. The final player on the list is one of our very own Scott McKay's favourites. Laurie Shankland, 28-year-old Scottish striker, six foot one, currently at Hearts, and his transfer market up in value at 2.3 million. 32 appearances this season, Shankland scored 21 goals and got four assists from a 15.2 xG, 17% conversion, 0.66 goals per 90, 1.41 shots on target, 1.35% chances created, 42% dribble success, 
just under one foul, one per game, and 33.6 joules run. Again, shot attempts, he's in the top 3%, and goals, he's in the top 4%. He's currently the top goal scorer in the league, so I need to look at how that percentile is calculated, but in terms of Shankland, a lot of fans obviously wanted him in January. It wasn't possible because Rangers didn't have any money. Could still be possible in the summer, but into the last year he's deal. What does Shankland give you? He's a goal scorer, you can see. 15.2 XG and he scored 21 goals this season. He's also missed quite a few penalties, so he probably should have more than the 21 goals. His hold-up play's got a lot better. His game on the ball, he's not going to be the type of player that takes the ball 20, 30 yards and then fires one in the top corner. He's still good enough on the ball, though. He can still beat a defender. You've seen a goal against Hibs that he's capable of beating defenders and firing one in the top corner. He is capable of that, but that's not going to be his game. He's not... The ball carrier up top, he's going to hold the ball up well. He exchanges passes well. His interplay is very, very good. It's got a lot better this season. I think he's kind of pegged as just a poacher, but if you actually watch him, his all-round play has gotten a lot better. It's something he's really improved on as he's gotten older. He will be 29 next season, but I think can you really turn down something that's going to get that number of goals? I think if he had the level of chances that Cyril odessa has got this season, he'd probably be upwards of 30 goals. So I think looking at that, can you really turn down if it's going to be a case of maybe one and a half to three million? Is it the type of deal you would want to do? It seems like it could still be a decent deal. He's still going to have a few years left in him. He's still going to get goals domestically, even if he doesn't step up that level to kind of Champions League, Europa League. He's going to get you goals domestically. It's just a case of whether Rangers can sink, sink as much money as Hearts want into, into a player that's only going to potentially do it at domestic level. Someone that just missed out on the list was Dundee's Leo Cameron. I'm a massive fan of him. I think he's does really good for the Scotland under-21s. Again, he was good against Rangers the other night. He's performed really well this season. I think he's got big potential. So he just missed out on the list. But that was five players I think Rangers could sign from the Scottish Premiership. Please let me know if you agree in the comments if there's any other players you think the club should be looking at from the league. I think there are still a few more players, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on the five that I mentioned and any other ones you think could come in and contribute. So again, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps with the algorithm. And please tune in tonight because we've got the podcast live at half past seven. And also at half past five, we'll have the third episode of Scotty's Football Manager series. So please like, subscribe. There's lots more to come. If you enjoy the content, please follow us along and have a great day.